Leica, Leica SL. I'm in the studio at the Leica headquarters with Stefan. Stefan, your last name is? Skop. Skop? Skop, S-K-O-P-P. -P. Oh, that's an easy one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I've, been, very I've, easy. I've had some difficult ones on my, my visit here. And um, I've had the opportunity for the last week or two to uh, shoot with the Leica SL. And I must say that this is one really cool camera. Leica, as you can tell, uh, if you've been following these videos, has a very wide range of uh, camera offerings. And this camera is their mirrorless full frame camera. And I'm gonna let Stefan tell us a little bit about it because I'm just haven't had too much fun shooting. But uh, tell us like why you developed this, where it's going, and let's talk about the wide range lenses, which are actually, as you can see, we have a multitude of lenses here right now, not to mention M lenses. So I'm gonna give you the ball and let you run yeah. with it for a while. Thank you very much. So this is our um, professional mirrorless full frame camera. And professional stands for the highest quality in terms of image rendering, image quality, build quality, and um, overall yeah, quality of the, of the system. You can do everything, it's a rugged system. You can go into rain, you can do into heat, you can do into freezing um, situations. Um, very, this, very weathered sealed is what he's yeah, trying This to camera say. will just do the job. Yeah, you can pour water over it. And, do it and over it. because we are Leica, we have lenses, they do the job, whatever aperture and focus distance you choose, you get the finest, purest rendering of the image quality. So that is why we have made this camera, because we wanted to target exactly that market. And we had a white spot in our portfolio. So we had customers asking us for, for a camera for that kind of jobs. And we decided to make the SL and not go or not continue the um, DSLR SLR type of cameras and go into the mirrorless market. So let me say something about uh, as a photographer using this camera. Once again, it's kind of a camera you have to pick up and, and, and hold. It's very solid. It's carved out of what, a whole aluminum block, yeah. I believe. And uh, you know, when you pick it up, it just feels solid. Unlike a lot of the other cameras that have a lot of protrusions and everything, even the neck strap eyelets are uh, flush up against the camera. So there's been so much thought that's gone into this. But once again, they've broken a paradigm. And as you can see on the top dial, there's no, no labels. There's an LCD screen, which Stefan can tell us a little bit about on the dial. And on the back here, there's four buttons, a joystick, a control knob here, and once again, no labels. Did you forget the labels? <laughs> yeah, it's a sort of a um, um, Leica paradigm to uh, reduce everything to the essential. And labels are not essential, to be honest. So we figured out a way um, that you can operate the camera easily and, and customize it to your needs. So we have the on-off is signed, so everyone who first time picks up the camera so can one definitely, got on there. definitely understand how to switch it on, so <laughs> that the whole uh, story starts. Then we have a, we have a bright screen, uh, a touch screen, so it, it, you can um, set focus points, you can use it in play mode to review pictures, zoom into. Double tap to go to 100% focus on camera. Exactly, yeah. and, and we have a top display where you see all the essential things for making your exposures right. So we have an EVF, um, we call IRES technology, it means it's the different, uh, it's the combination of resolution, latency, and and field of view to have the maximum um, view you can ever actually get from an, from an electronic viewfinder. So it feels like very natural. Many people were extremely overwhelmed by looking through it the first time and like, yeah. oh gosh, this is electronic, I can't believe. This is, I've looked through a lot of viewfinders doing and handling a lot of cameras, but this one is exceptional. I think this is what, four million, is it? 4.4 million pixels. 4.4 million pixels, and I think one of the closest rivalries is a a 3.6 million one. Yeah, some, something around three. So, three you know, eight. even today, it, this viewfinder just has to be seen to be appreciated. The lines, the movement, the whole thing, it's, it's quite a nice experience and adds to that whole feel that you know you've got a Leica in your hand. Yeah, the, the viewfinder is definitely the, um, the most crucial point for mirrorless cameras because there is where you actually start your frustration in using them or where it starts your 
your great experience, user experience. So if you use it, you can see the final picture. You see white balance, you see exposure in real time. And this allows um, definitely to change the perception of photography or how you, mm -hmm. how you interact with a professional camera. Even you can set a one-to-one -one crop if you want, so you see it. Or black and white. Black and white. I mean, black I and white is so day. cool. I was square with it the other day. And then with this resolution, it's, it's like, like, oh. oh. Yeah, exactly. And then when we put this on top, we take uh, off the DSL native lens and put on an, an M lens. So you have the experience of aperture ring, manual focus. Uh, it's just got the lens and uh, focus peaking. So you can just do your focus so precise. Or you can, by one click, if you use this button, you can just click into the center. Oh, for, for high magnification focus. Yes, and it's so easy to play with these lenses. And, you get amazing shots out of them, so it's really nice. You know, after experiencing uh, the M10 and having a chance to go and photograph with it, which is a lot of fun, part of the magic is essentially just using the M lenses. You know, the, the ability to, for that smooth, glassy, you know, buttery uh, feel when you focus a lens and so forth. And, you know, to be able to put it on a camera like this, and it really feels good. The weight right now just feels tremendous. So you get all the modern conveniences but you still get to use the Magic M lenses if you know, that's the way you go. Or if you already have a Leica and you've got M lenses, now you've got a camera you know, that can add a little bit more of the um, enhancements that we expect that we don't yeah. get on the M. Yeah, we have many customers who need um, like super um, performance lenses. So they choose DSL lens for the daily job. So especially the um, 24 to 90 has an extremely wide range of focal length and the image rendering is so nice. So you can do the, your job, your daily job. But at the weekends, they pick up their old M lenses and go out with the family and have fun with these lenses. Oh, or even use it sometimes as a special effect lens for, for a portrait shot or something when they have a little bit more time when they're not so rushy. So this is, camera is very versatile when you look at lenses because it's not only the SL lenses, the M lenses, it's sure the R lenses from Leica, is for videographers, as the whole Cines lenses, we have a PL adapter, and there are even more adapters from Novoflex and other manufacturers for Nikon, Canon, whatever lenses on the market you can somehow adapt with adapters. One of the things that's been stressed to us throughout our visit here is that all the Leica lenses will fit on all the Leica cameras. So you can put the APS lenses on here. Oh, sure. Yeah, right? <laughs> you, can do, you can do it all. Yeah. But let's talk about the, the dedicated lenses for a minute and, and my experience with them. And one of the things that I found interesting is we have the 24 to 90 here. Rather than do a 24 to 70, it's 24 to 90, which is pretty cool. And it's totally different than what you see elsewhere in the industry. And then that brings me to this baby, which is... Yeah. Come on, you <laughs> just mount it for a second. Oh, okay. <laughs> This is a 90 to 280, not a 70 to 200. You know, so they've gone even further. And this, you almost have a 300 millimeter reach with this. And it's, this is a lot of fun to shoot with. Yeah. It's, when we started um, to really think of the first lenses, which, were, which are um, out in the market now, we decided to extend the range um, from uh, 24, not to 70, to 90. So it gives you the little bit of extra tele lens style for your portraits. And of course, to just start from there, we did 90 to 280 to have a real tele lens. So this is a pure tele focus lens. And still you have the ability to, uh, to change um, inside the camera to APS-C mode, which gives you another yeah, crop. Yeah, and, another but the thing is, with an electronic viewfinder, you don't feel it because yeah. you see the image just cropped and expand again. So you don't have any different feeling. It's just you, you're closer to the, to the object in one way. So, so it's, it's a really nice. And we, we thought everything. And um, there are many customers who really enjoy this 20 um, centimeters more. They, they say, sure, this lens is then a bit bigger. But compared to other systems, I only have one lens and not two. If, if you know, looking at this system now, and you, you, we have the 16 to 35 here somewhere, right? Now, this is obviously an announced lens. It's still not, not available for shipping yet. But no. if you think about it, 
a three lens system that will get you from 16 millimeter to 280 uh, in three lenses gives you just about all the range you want. And as we're learning a lot these days with the ability to design lenses really well, you know, there is this thing about primes, and if you want primes, hey, got them right here. However, the fact that you can get a three lens set that gives you this range and with this kind of beautiful camera is quite nice. Now, there are two other lenses. Yeah, first of all, I want to hold oh. it in the camera because it's so okay. brand new. It's, it's <laughs> the first time that a working prototype is on <laughs> tape anyway. <laughs> you love it. So guys, this lens is now in prototype stage and it, it really works. So um, it's just days old for, for me. So it's a really, really uh, new sample and oh. going to be with me with the next weekend. So let's have fun with this prototype. But coming back to uh, prime lenses, which are announced, 75 millimeter and 90 millimeter, those um, f.2, same size, completely. Um, yeah, same height, same, same height. diameter almost, if they're not. Yes, yeah. they are. The, the filter same. size of the Sumicron series will be exactly the same for all of them. All this, the sizes will be same. So you have actually very nice prime lenses, this, this seven, 75 millimeter. And now you have um, one of the high, like this is one of the high, uh, high performance lenses we ever made. And oh, that's got a nice balance to it. And it gives you nice balance, very oh, yeah. small, latest out of focus technologies. One of the things, remember, which we, we talked about with lenses the other day is that all Leica lenses are designed to be shot wide open or to the f-stop that works for the subject you're shooting. Because I think that's where <laughs> yes. a lot of the magic really arises. And uh, I've kind of been discovering that over the last few days. Rather than be the f8 kind of guy like I always am, uh, I've started shooting at 2.8 <laughs> and wider. And okay. oh my god, the background does some amazing things when you're shooting people and things that way. Specifically when we were walking on the streets and things and you know, be able to get somebody that's you know, doing something and have everything background out is so sweet. Now, also, there's a winder uh, available for this. Yeah, winder is pretty much the old description because we call it now battery grip, battery grip. because it, um, it gives you, I first of all. I still sometimes live in the old age. Just yeah, old because guy. we can't wind the SD cards anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so you have a battery grip, um, allows you to um, add a second battery. Just give me a second. Oops, here. A second battery. At the moment, there's no battery inside. Um, it gives you uh, the joystick for your... So vertical operation with one with your... And the two um, wheels you have at the camera. So you have the same operating elements. And we don't have a... Some people ask, us, well, why don't you have a record button on this format? And to be honest, when I designed that, I had this vertical video. I, I know it was there, but it was maybe not that important. <laughs> yeah. So for video guys, you have to press that button. To yeah, do the record. How many, people, how many video guys are doing vertical video? Uh, it's, it's, okay. It's now. the iPhone generation. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. Let's take a look at the uh, compartment so everybody can see this. I think one of the things that when I opened up the compartment door um, uh, with this, there's a, a flash sync socket. But they put a full size uh, USB 3 uh, cord here. It's not a mini. No, it's, and especially when you have whatever, you lost your cable, you can still use a standard USB 2 cable and right. be, still be able to do the connection. Of course, it's USB so 2. So it's, it's, it's full size that way, though. Uh, you have a full size HDMI, and then you've got a, a, a different jack, which there's an adapter you have that comes out and then has two plugs for a microphone and headphone. Exactly. And for sure, there is uh, another accessory, which is the remote um, cable or the so you can remotely take and pictures by a It's not hinged, it sits with this rubberized um, little thing and it just seals up so nice and tight. So you can, you know by looking at it, it's weather sealed. And then we have two SD card positions here for it. Now I set my SL up so that I actually record DNG RAWs on one SD card and JPEGs on the other. Okay. So I'm shooting both, but there's a different, a series of different combinations you can use in the setup as far as that goes. So. Um, you know, it's a really nice camera. Oh, and one more thing. <laughs> As they would say, there's GPS. So there's a, a little bump up top here, and that does the uh, the, the GPS. So um, yeah, we have GPS antennas here. We have uh, Wi-Fi antennas here behind the grip. So we have Wi-Fi in camera. We have GPS on board, 
And uh, one word for the GPS, because some people get annoyed by saving their positions in their pictures. But the nice effect is that you have um, always the real local time. So once you step out of the plane in, in Frankfurt, Frankfurt it, when yeah. you came from the I US, noticed that. I didn't have it's to like oh, real time setting. Yeah, real time, GPS and, real time. Um, that is very nice for traveling photographers. So let's go in and segue into the wireless antenna you have. And one of the things that we've covered a couple times while our visit here with Leica, and I've gotten to start playing with it, is connectivity. And I think connectivity is the next big thing with cameras, especially on some of the smaller cameras that we've seen while we've been here, is the ability now to actually have a camera you know, and to have a significant uh, camera that can connect to your iPhone, or in this case, we're going to connect to the iPad, and uh, allow you to capture your photos on your iPad, actually use the iPad or your iPhone or, or Android phone as a remote, and uh, be able to uh, take pictures and then uh, use these instantly to send off the social media or even yes. edit. So why don't you step over here and exactly. show, so, show what it is. Maybe we can get Chris to um, be our subject behind the uh, Yeah, the Chris, camera. come on. We can see you that you're not there. <laughs> Where are you hiding? <laughs> OK, let me run you through the basic setups. This whole idea is um, that you not only um, view pictures, which you have taken, but you also can use the iPad or iPhone or Android device as a remote control okay. for, your, um, for your pictures. Because many people um, set up a camera somewhere in the roof or whatever, and they want to have a control. So you, can, you have your live view. You can change um, the settings of your camera, and you can uh, take the pictures or videos. So we do it in that way that we um, start the Wi-Fi from the camera. The iPad connects to the camera that yeah, we do by this one. We set up the password already, so the iPad, uh, the iPad knows the, the password from the right. camera. So this is one click, and then we just have to open the SL app. Wait for a second, tap to connect, and do start remote. Oh, it's working. Oh, so we have John. Hello. Hi, John. There's oh. Chris, too. So Come on, I take a picture. Shoot him. We don't have that shot too often. Come on, a that. nice cheese, Come guys. Come on. Chris. <laughs> Excellent. So, you know, with that, yeah, but you can also control the uh, f-stop, shutter speed, ISO. And, and give you uh, a quick uh, overview. So we are in M mode now. We can yeah. change whatever to P, maybe, for perfect. Ah, is that what it stands for? <laughs> well, I don't know. Um, oh, OK, and P is this a bit uh, limited. Let's go to A. So we set the f-stop to wide open. We can set the ISO, whatever, plus, minus, a little bit darker, and take another shot. We can go to video, do the same basically in the, in the video performance, uh, video section. So we get Chris or we can go to play and review our pictures. And there's one nice um, feature I want to tell you is in the review mode of the SL, you can highlight pictures or um, star pictures, okay. give them a rating. Rating, so right in the camera. So the rating will be synced with this one. And later, when you download the pictures to your computer and load them in, uh, in Lightroom, you have your ratings there as well. Oh, cool. So it, it really can be a tool for rating, rate pictures on the go, Great. and then reduces the workload back home. Super. Well, you've seen the full range of what the uh, SL is all about. And uh, like I said, it's a significant camera. It's a beautiful camera to work with. Once again, it's a camera you owe it to yourself. If you're visiting a, a dealer where you can try out an SL, pick it up and look through it, uh, hold it, it's, it's different, and it's one of those things that uh, is kind of like-alike all around, different. Um, Leica is really bold, and one of the things that I have to say they did a great job of is, well, some of the other manufacturers are still in DSLR, shutter box, and mirror box mode. Leica saw the future, and you know they released this, uh, what, two years ago now or more? Mm, yeah. And they saw that mirrorless was the way to go, and they put out this beautiful camera. You know, they've added new lenses, and I'm sure, like a lot of other things that Leica does, the line is going to go further and, and use some of the newest technology when it becomes available. So, Stefan, thank you very much for, thank you very much for being giving here. a good explanation. For well, the good credits. <laughs> and, 
Yeah, you know, it's nice to be on stage with somebody that's actually taller than me. I have to look up to you. Okay, I and, don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> there you go. And everybody, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you on the luminous landscape.